Hello everyone, I'm Naval Yemul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master. We are continuing the Microsoft Fabric tutorial playlist. In this video, we are going to talk about the lake house tutorial where we are going to create a lake house and we'll ingest a sample data and then we'll build a report. We are going to do all these things in this documentation. There are few prerequisites like creating a fabric workspace. We will be doing it right now. And then the first step is we will create a lake house. So you can just follow the steps or I'll be directly doing it hands on. And then we'll ingest a sample data. So Microsoft has also given us a dimension customer table CSV file. We'll just ingest it by using a data flows as lake house helps us to ingest data by various ways we'll be using a data flows here and then the third step we will be creating a yeah we will be creating a report that like we'll build a report on top of that raw data so i'm performing this all these steps now in my fabric so i do not have a new workspace now let me create a new workspace and the workspace name i would like to give is data master okay Inside a workspace, I'll be switching to the data engineering section and now I'm already into the data engineering section. You can see here. If not, you can just click on this and I'll just click on new and you can select the item you want. Now we will be creating a new lake house. Let me just click on the create a lake house. Let me upgrade this. Yeah, so it will ask you for the lake house name. So I'll give same name lake house and let me just click on create so in the previous video we have seen the moment you create a lake house you will be getting a lake house and a sql endpoint also okay yeah your, your lake house is ready so let me just go back to our lake house yeah the moment you uh, create a lake house inside a workspace you will be getting a lake house as well as a SQL endpoint. And you can see that at the top here. So whatever the tables you create in your lake house, you can query them by using a SQL analytics endpoint. So we will be doing it now. And when it comes to a lake house, you can ingest the data via all these options. You can upload a data manually from your local machine, or you can use a new data flow gen two, or you can create a data pipeline, or you can create a notebook, or you can create a shortcut. So maybe in our coming sessions, we will be using each and every method in detail. Now let me use a data flow gen two that will help you to ingest it. And if uh, we can also clean it, transform it, and then we can ingest into the lake house. Let me just click on it. Yeah, cool. Now we are into a data flow. So data flow gen two is nothing but a power query. So inside a power query, again, we have an option we can import from the Excel from the SQL server. But now I have a CSV file. So let me just click on this import from the text or the CSV file. And here we get an option. So you can click on link to the file or you can upload it manually. So I have a file here in my local machine. I'll just click on upload and let me drag and drop a file here. Yeah, the file has been uploaded here. And now I'll just click on the next. Now you get a preview file data. You can just check the data here. And if it looks good, you can just click on create button. Once you click on the create, you will be inside your power query. Uh, so we can do a lot of transformation here without writing any code here. You can rename the column name. You can add a new columns. You can do a lot of transformations here. So let me uh, just show you a couple of things here. Here we have a query tab here. If you can click on off and you can see all your M query that was created is now off. You can just take it by using a query script here and you have an other options also like you have a diagram view. So diagram view is now disabled. You can check the diagram view here. So from the source, we have promoted the headers by default and we have changed the column data types here. And then you have just a data view and you have a schema view also. You can see just a schema view. You can switch it between those. And once you are done, uh, let me just show you once all your transformation is done. We are not doing much guys. So you can see all that 
whatever the transformations are applied that you can see it in the applied steps here so maybe i'll create a separate playlist for this data flow gen 2 where we are going to go deep dive into the power query and then i'm going to add a destination called lake house so this csv file what was the source that we have uploaded from the local machine and we have done a quick promoting the headers changing the column names and we can add a destination to the lake house now okay and once we have added the destination to the lake house you can just click on publish so we are just using a data flows for creating a csv file and publishing our data to the lake house and you can see here you will be getting this circle where it is just showing you that it is publishing into the lake house so it's in the progress yeah it's done now and you can see here we do not have any spinning circle now it was now published successfully to our lake house so let me just get inside a lake house and now you can see here we have a tables and then we have a files in the tables we have a dimension customer so let's just click on it and now you can preview the entire table in your lake house yeah beautiful you can see that so we got a correct column headers we got a correct data type of that and you can see all the details here so just in case if you want to query this if you want to query this you have to relay on the sql endpoint so you can switch it at the right here so from the lake house you can switch it to the sql analytics endpoint where you can start using a sql to query this table so let me just switch it and this is something like your warehouse so here you got a table now you can see your table that is getting saved into your schema dbo and you have a tables and you can see your dimension customer table here and you can see the quick preview of that so if you want to write any query on top of this you can just use this select a new sql query and you can start writing a query so let me do a quick group by here so i'll be using select buying group is one of the column and i want to have a quick count of those columns let me count it as total and from the dimension table and here you can use few drag and drop guys just drag and drop you don't need to write the entire table name use a drag and drop here group by and then you use a same column name called buying group okay beautiful let me try to run this oh not i don't want a co-pilot here let me run this beautiful you can see here you got two columns here saying you having a group grouping buying grouping and you can see this with the help of the total so this is how you can query it and you can save this query and you can use it later on and you can even save as a view also so from the raw data from the csv we use data flow we store it into the lake house and from the lake house we can switch it to the sql analytics endpoint to start querying it and pull out the insights from that and even here we have a beautiful option you can just click on it and you can even visualize the data so once you click on this visualize the data it will just ask you to select the statement and then it will directly connect it to the power bi where you can with the help of sql statement you can create a power bi report also yeah cool now let us see how you can build a report on top of this data so we have switched from the lake house to the sql analytics and now you can see in your warehouse i mean your fabric warehouse we have a data tab here we can preview your data we can look at the queries here and then we can see the model also you can just click on the model and the moment you click on the model here we got a couple of tabs here like you have a table tools and we have a reporting so once you click on the reporting you can switch on you can select this table and you can create a like you can just say that hey manage default semantic model you can create a model by using this and you can just click on this table that is dimension customer table and click on confirm and the moment you click on confirm it will be by default your dimension customer table will be by default added to your semantic model and once it is added you can start creating a report on top of it now your table has been added to the default semantic model let me go back to my lake house let me go back to my lake house 
yeah cool you can see here so now i'm into my lake house here and you can see the semantic model let me just click on it and now you can see here discover the business insights and you can explore this data or you can just click on it and you can see that you can have in multiple options like auto create a report you can create a blank report or you can create a page generated report also let me just use an option called auto create a report and your power bi is now creating an auto report now and let us see wow beautiful guys you can see here so with that auto report you can see you got all the analysis you have some bar graphs here obviously you can change that now i have just clicked on saved i have saved it to the dimension customer report you can edit the table edit the report you want you can see you get all the visualization and you can see the summary and all the details guys it's really an amazing guys you can see with few minutes from the csv file we have ingested into the lake house we started querying it and we have built a report on top of it so let me just go to the my warehouse uh workspace in the workspace you can see we have created a lake house we got a sql endpoint we created a semantic model on top of it and then we created a report so this is how we have used the tutorial creating a lake house ingesting a sample data and building a report so if you like this video guys please share it with your friends and colleagues those who are working on this microsoft fabric analytics if you like the content please do like it support me and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video guys see you in the next video bye bye